Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today we're here at a brand new racetrack that I'm currently making. I'll show you guys that in just a second. But first things first, we have three, yes that's right, three brand new custom die casts. One is still on the way, it has not arrived yet. Um, I'll show you guys that one whenever I do get it, but we have the 15 of Brennan Pools. Uh, Go slash Spartan Mosquito paint scheme. We have Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Kroger uh, paint scheme and Gray Golding's Panini uh, paint scheme right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open them all up, take a look around, see what they got to offer. And then after that, I'll show you guys a track. All right, so here they all are out of the packaging. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s. Uh, Kroger car so here we have his standard Kroger paint scheme we have the Kings Ford Tyson Scott Bush's best on the sides we got a whole bunch of random sponsors on the top same things on this side number 47 Kroger oh wait Krogel nice <laughs> Krogel that's very cool uh, we got the Camaro right here up front. Uh, we got the contingencies. All right. And it's on the old Camaro, which is weird. I guess it's so that they can't get uh, copyrighted. That might be why. It's not super accurate, like the actual car itself. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and compare it. With the only other 47 car I have, which is AJ Omenigger's uh, Kroger car. So we got the Kroger car and the Krogel car, which is very nice. Uh, I might have to like just print a thing that says Kroger, but probably smaller, and then just put it on there. I don't know. I'll see what I'll, I can do. Um, I mean, it's not too noticeable if you just glance at it, if you're not paying attention. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and compare the two right here. There we go. I don't know. I like the 47 of Stenhouse's better. Uh, just because there's uh, more blue. I feel like this one was just a little too white. The best one, obviously, was Priest's, but I never got around to getting that one. I don't think they actually made one. And if they did, they sold out instantly. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one right here, which is the 15 of Brennan Poole. Um, his Go slash Spartan Mosquito paint scheme. This one's pretty nice. It's pretty much a basic white scheme, but I mean, it looks cool. I like the two stripes right here. Spartan Mosquito, number 15. Looking pretty good with the old Chevy tail lights. And yeah, overall, solid paint scheme for... Uh, underfunded team let's go ahead and compare it with a custom that i made um this is supposed to be a ross chastain one uh, so it's outdated anyway and i put it on a chase elliott mountain dew car that's where you can see the green and stuff uh it was an extra one i had but yeah so finally can get rid of this and move on to a much needed upgrade it'll look so much better in the mountain dew baja blast nascar cup series and finally, we are going to take a look at Gray Galding's number 27 Panini Trading Cards paint scheme. This one looks really nice. Probably one of my favorite underfunded paint schemes from this year. Like, look at that shine, bro. That looks nice. I really like this one. I love the color combo of the red, uh, yellow, and uh, black. Looks really nice. Uh, it's on a Ford Mustang as well. And yeah, this one, probably my favorite of the three, and it has the least uh, errors, um, probably, actually, well, yeah, no, this up here, that's really fat, the Camaro lights are fat, this one's pretty solid, I mean, I guess, if anything, the uh, Mustang lights are a little small, but other than that, this one's pretty much uh, well, nearly perfect, back is a little messy, and so is that up there, but... Probably the best one of the three. I think it looks pretty nice. And 
let me go ahead and compare it with my custom 27 for Reed Sorensen that I made. Um, Reed still drives the 27 and stuff, but um, this is obviously much better than this. This was okay. It was pretty decent, but I like having an actual, uh, well, much better looking one than mine. Instead of just being plain black with, you know, like, I painted it all the way. It's just, Sharpie does not cover it all. I should use paint, but, like, then I wouldn't be able to have the Mechanic wear the logo and stuff. And I even got that a little bit X'd out. Only thing really cool about this one is that, uh, I got that to be red. That's pretty much the only good thing about it. This one is a much needed upgrade. It's also the right font as well. Same with the 15. So yeah. Um, now I also have a pretty much up to date roster for JTG da Daughterly Racing. Um, with the addition of Ricky Stenhouse. This is a Chris Busher scheme. But I mean Priest uses. He used this scheme like two or three times already. Um, plus like. The front of here is flat, just like the Camaros now, so, I mean, it's pretty much from this year. Um, it was on the, uh, old mold that they used one time in Authentic, so, yeah. But, then we also have the complete Rick Ware Racing roster. I might get, um, Joey Gase's 51. This is Austin Terriel, I think that's how you say it. I probably butchered the name, but... Yeah, I might just get a Joey Gase one, if anything. I'd have to find one, though. I haven't seen one yet. But other than that, I'm pretty much done with uh, that. So I have the complete Rick Ware roster, and now I have the updated uh, JTG one. And now, what you've probably been waiting for as well, allow me to show you the brand new... Sonoma Raceway. Well, it's not complete yet, but um, I've gotten the layout. So let's go ahead and start at the start finish line. It's I haven't done much yet. I literally just started today. Um, so start finish line is going to be right here heading into turn one. You go through here, you see, and then I did like so we have the carousel here and that part that they use this year. But then I also have the old layout that they can go on if uh, I'm going to do that. I also have the little drag strip too um size is off a little bit just because i didn't have enough room to fit the entire thing even though this uh poster board is massive it's the probably the biggest track i've ever done or no it is the biggest track i've ever done this is like twice the size of my biggest one so yeah it's gonna be a hefty project uh, but then we have the normal way that they go through here until the end but then you know i also put this here, if uh, I ever want to, you know, do something just for aesthetics, and you have that part. And, you know, they have that part that they can go through, too. Um, but, yeah, I obviously have a lot of work to do. I also have this part right here. Uh, then we have a pit road right here. And pit exit. Pit exit uh, is not going to be completely accurate just because it's really small. Plus, there's only, like, seven pit stalls, too. So, yeah. Um, I also didn't have enough room to even fit uh, the actual way they do the pits, too. So, yeah. Uh, but then I also have just, like, a space here. I can put a victory lane and maybe, like, a little parking lot or garage area, too. And, uh, yeah. That is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy and bye bye.